it's hard to tell the shape of this year. Although, just to give you an idea of the foot we're starting off on, um, not only would his, an entire segment of I-95 in Virginia shut the fuck down for, what, 15 hours? 24. 24 hours of the ice and snow. Is it still shut down, or have they fixed that yet? It's finally open. They got it open at, like, 4 o'clock today. Great. Not only did that happen, there's also that Amtrak that out of, uh, what was it, out of New Orleans, got stuck in Atlanta for 40 hours. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. It's like people, they wouldn't let anybody off the Nine. train. And it, it yeah, it's Nine. ridiculous. It, 40 hours. Why, they, why wouldn't they let anybody off the train if they couldn't move? I did, um, It's not like an airplane. It's not like you have to go through security again. It's Nine. a train. Um, they ran out of food. The toilets overflowed. That all just happened like the past 24 hours or so. So. See, that's what I wonder about all the people that were stuck on 95. Um, if you're not an East Coaster, I-95 basically runs down the entire East Coast mm -hmm. of the United States. Maine to Florida. Um, Actually, does it go past Maine? Does it go to Canada? major, major highway. Hmm? Does it go past Maine? Does I-95 go into Canada and become another, like, another road? I don't or? think so. But yeah, anyway, it's... But it's... It is like the major highway yep. down the entire East Coast. And it got... Like, mm -hmm. Senator Tim Kaine was calling in to CNN this afternoon. It's like, yeah, I have a meeting at four o'clock today, and I just hope I make it. I've been sitting here for 18 hours. <laughs> and they're like, you're a sitting senator. Can't you do anything? And he's like, well, I'm not going to ask for special favors, but I did call the Department of Transportation and use, you know, my title to get some information for everybody. Which he said very gently. And the re reality was like, Pete, Pete, what the fuck? What the fuck, Pete? Yeah. But the anchors were like, couldn't you get yourself airlifted out? And like, what kind of would he be? <laughs> Pete, I peed into a bottle and the bottle done froze, Pete. Yeah. Pete, come That's get what, us. Like, in 24 hours, you are going to have to yeah. answer the call of nature yeah. in one way or another. Yeah. And like, what were people doing? Terrible things. Terrible, terrible horrible. Don't have a snowball fight along I-95 anytime soon. <laughs> it's going to be uh, gross. It's, yeah, it was, this was not, not our finest hour, shall we say. And uh, half an hour for me, a thousand houses burned down in a day. Yep. Yeah. We were, we were watching TV trying to figure out if we were going to have to like corral four cats in a cal carrier and run for it. So 2022 coming in with a uh, yeah. and Betty White and Betty White. Well, with that in mind, it's 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 kind of hard to follow up the retrospect. It is because it's it's kind of like going on after Kiss or something, you know. <laughs> oh, Kiss is the band I would choose for that example. <laughs> when it comes to live bands fucking kiss. i would think like queen queen well yeah okay but still you know coming on after that it's kind of hard to follow that up but we try we shall see here well, we, we go we'll try let's get that intro rolling each week Catherine, the radio dead air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs find all sorts of horrible stuff bring you back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong and we've got some brand fun this week. Ah, uh, brands. It Washington's really took that whole Supreme Court decision about them being people and just ran with it. Fuck yes, they did. And uh, we're going to start with um, the shittiest beer in the world. If you're not in America, you probably think all Americans are shit. But there is one beer... That is the shittiest of shitty American beer. And that is the hilariously misnamed Pabst Blue Ribbon. See, Dan actually likes Pabst Blue Ribbon. Apparently, it's a whole goth thing. Like, goths love PBR. And I don't know why, but any goth bar you go into will be selling cans of PBR. It's a whole thing. Well, they've, they've gotten a bit of a boost. 
this week, although not in probably the way they were expecting. Um, Paps Blue Ribbon apologizes for tweet not drinking this January. Try eating ass. Okay. Uh, the interns are at it again. Um, the now deleted post was sent from the brewing company's verified account. Tweets of a similar tone, including a reply that told a, mu a user to ask his mom, were also deleted. Yeah, um, PBR or ass? What's the difference? PBR was ask your mom. <laughs> Nick Reilly, vice president of marketing at the Paps Brewing Company, said in a statement to Adweek that one person was responsible. The company was handling the matter internally. We apologize about the language and content of our recent tweets. The tweets in question were written in poor judgment by one of our associates. In no way does the content of these tweets reflect the values of Paps and our associates. We're handling the matter internally and have removed the tweets from our social platform. You make uh, beer. Yeah. What are the values of your, you and your associates with beer? Do you know what happens when people drink beer? They eat ass because they've been drinking beer. I can't say that's a normal side effect for me, <laughs> but your mileage may vary. <laughs> Boy, Justin, Look. Justin, the intern had a great first day on the job. <laughs> now, the thing I just about have a weird feeling. His name is Justin. Now, the thing about it is, the thing about it here is, in the last 48 hours, Twitter has talked more about Paps Blue Ribbon than they have in the past 10 years. And that shit was effective? Yes. I mean, I, I think someone was going for the Wendy's thing. Yeah. But they just didn't, they, they went way past, they just completely into don't give a fuck, Phil. Which is, is a terrible place you shouldn't visit. I mean, is the flavor that different? I guess we have to ask <laughs> ourselves. Uh, Paps Blue, Riz Blue Ribbon has posted only one tweet since. And this is it. Beer. That is, that is the only tweet they posted. Since Why is Brett Kavanaugh working for PBR? I thought he was on the Supreme <laughs> Court. Oh. <laughs> Supreme Court not paying so good these days, Brett? Bit of a callback there. <laughs> uh, Topical for two years ago. <clears throat> but wait. There's more. Remember that, that bit? And I played the little the clip here on the show a couple times. Um, They're making like, very gross they are. new acronyms for PBR in the chat. And I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of them. Um, but, uh, you remember a while back that, that had that little clip where the kid asked Alexa, I think they were trying to play tickle, tickle or twinkle, twinkle or something. And some, for some reason, Alexa starts saying it was going to play this horrific porn shit. <laughs> and there when Alexa was just randomly reading off funeral homes nearby and laughing at people. That's why I don't have a fucking Alexa. Well, wait, this week it, it escalated to attempted murder. Alexa, Alexa suggests 10 year old put Penny on partially exposed plug. A 10 year old girl and her mother got a lesson about the utility of voice assistance after Amazon's Alexa suggested the girl try the TikTok plug challenge. According to the girl's mother, the dangerous suggestion came after her daughter asked Alexa for a challenge to do. Quote, here's something I found on the web. According to ourcommunitynow.com, the challenge is simple. Plug in a phone charger about halfway into a wall outlet, then touch a penny to the exposed prongs. We were doing some physical challenges like laying down and rolling over, holding a, a shot on your foot, and the phys ed teacher on YouTube earlier. Uh, she just wanted another one. I was right there and yelled, no, Alexa, no, like it was a dog. Lived all repeated. My daughter said she's... See, y'all laugh at me. 
for my mistrust of robots. When I don't, when I say I don't trust AI, I don't trust robots. Y'all are like, oh my God, Tara, she's such a conspiracy theorist. She's such a fucking Luddite. This is fucking why. Because the machines have already risen. Well, Tara. It started with these motherfuckers because how many hours a day do you spend with your eyes not on this thing? Not many. So they've already got our brains. Amazon. Amazon has since removed that particular challenge from Alexa's database. Uh, customer trust is at the center of everything we do, and Alexa's designed to provide accurate, relevant, and helpful information to customers. As soon as we became aware of this error, we took swift action to fix it. Yeah, but how many others are buried in there, like time bombs? Just more horrible shit's gonna serve. This is the problem here. Can we expect your customer trust is at the center of everything Amazon does. Yeah. The problem here is a question of scale. And like with many things on the internet, we expect everything to, they're like, oh, we'll just do it with some automatic shit and that we don't need real people. It's fine. We'll just audit, like, it, it, that's fine. And but that's, the internet is full of morons and sadistic pieces of shit. Yes. And sometimes the morons are the sadistic pieces of shit. And yes. sometimes the sadistic pieces of shit are morons. So it gets even worse. Yes. And the AI either doesn't know how to differentiate those things from the rest of the internet, or it doesn't want to because it wants you to die. Choose your narrative. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> One day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get a hold of Tara and Dan's going to be like, yeah, she's in the corner. She keeps smashing all the iPhones. I don't fucking know why. I, I do love my iPhone, <clears throat> though. See, they got me. Uh, okay, we've had quite a few stories of imbeciles who have attempted to impersonate law enforcement and done a piss poor job of it. I'm going to give points to original uh, of points for originality to this fellow because um, this is a new one. Man arrested after breaking into Knoxville officer's home putting on uniform man was arrested after poorly breaking into a home of a Knoxville police department officer, putting on their police uniform and using equipment at approximately 1125 PM on December 23rd officers reportedly responded to the home of a uh, KPD officer in Powell because an unknown man was operating and issued radio from the residence when no one was supposed to be home. Once on the scene on the radio, <laughs> Once on the scene inside the home, 51 year old, 51 years old, 51 year old Dwayne Miller was found wearing the officer's uniform, tactical vest, law enforcement gear, and was fully armed. It was armed with a fully loaded pistol. He also found he was also found with over fifteen hundred dollars cash from the officer's wallet. OK, pause. Why the fuck does a cop have fifteen hundred dollars in cash in their wallet? Give to the homeless. I don't even I keep I barely keep twenty dollars in cash on me these days. Yeah. That's like I have the, an aunt who's constantly worried that I don't carry cash. And I'm like, nobody carries cash anymore. So what the fuck? I have the same fifty dollar bill she gave me two years ago. Still in my wallet because she wanted me to have cash on me. Miller was taken into custody and told officers that he was also law enforcement and preparing to leave for work. Look at the shot. The fucking. Tell me if you believe him. Hmm? What? Look at the mugshot and tell me if you believe him. Let me, let me have a look. Um, I don't see. I don't see the mugshot. It's up at the top. It's a video, but oh, a video. the screen right. cap is the thumbnail. Rather, is his mugshot. Well, let's see if I can. I can get it from here. Obviously, his middle name is Ray because it's the South, and I think there's a law. Yeah, there's there's a dude. Um. Kind of yes, got a, I am an officer cop. Well, he's kind of got a Barney Fife vibe, let's be honest. He's got a little Barney bit Fife of his hair. He's he's got a little bit of the Don Knotts thing going on. Let's let's be let's be honest there. The the, the fucking audacity. He took an Uber there. He took an Uber. 
Later, the man confessed and told officers that an Uber had dropped him off at the residence. Once on the property, he allegedly entered the KPD cruiser and took the police gear and a garage door opener to access the home. How do you, you do, fellow? Yes. Even Kate Bishop used a fake name when she called an Uber to be the getaway car. How do you do, fellow police? <laughs> like, for fuck's sake, how do you try to bluff the cops in the cops town? Cops all know each other, man. Also, you did this on December 23rd. That was yeah. just in time to get put on the naughty list. <laughs> Naughty list, hell, you have annoyed these people on the wrong... Now, I'm not going to defend cops these days. I used to no. be a lot... I, I, I will admit, I used to be a lot more, more like, sympathetic to, to the plight of the police. That's changed as I've gotten older. Um, I kind of regard cops now, I, I think I've said this before, sort of like bears. We all quint sort of have to live with them. They are wild beasts. They could do anything at any moment, and they could, in fact, kill you. We can't solve the problem for some reason, so we just have to live with the fact that we, are, we have these bears that can kill us wandering around at all times. Don't poke them. Don't poke the bear. Just treat cops like you would the any other. The difference I see is bears aren't necessarily a problem on their own. Like no, they're ju They just want to do bear stuff. Just, they just, don't want to bully people. Just, they just, just want to do bear stuff. Just treat, treat police as any other dangerous wild animal. Don't encroach on their habitat. Don't make eye don't contact. Eye. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that that's. This, don't annoy, them, especially don't annoy them. Because, dang. Don't go over their house and play dress up in their stuff. Don't yeah. do that to anybody. <laughs> Somebody's been general, sleeping in my bed. <laughs> yeah, in general, mm. it's bad etiquette to break into anybody's home and try on their clothes. Just don't do that in general to anybody. We got a little bit more chutzpah in this next story. Because I, I love that word. It's a great word. Chutzpah. It's it's got it's got some like moxie. <laughs> um this dude points for originality. I'll, I'll give him that. We've had people who have been faking vaccine cards. This has been an issue going around, which is actually, if you fake, you've committed a federal felony, so fucking idiot. This dude, at least a novel approach on the whole thing. Instead of faking a vaccine card, he faked a positive test to avoid getting out of court, to, to get out of court. Hartford man was charged with illegally fabricating a positive COVID-19 test uh, result to avoid appearing before a superior court judge. Junior Jump, I'm not kidding you. The dude's name is Junior Jump with two Ps. I'll let you figure out where they go. Maybe that's why he's jumping. Because <laughs> he has to pee pee. Junior Jump, 31, of Hartford, was arrested Tuesday and charged with one count of forgery in second degree and one count of fabricating physical evidence. According to the arrest warrant affidavit, Jump was out on bond following his arrest in connection with a number of criminal cases. Um, and November 16th, Hartford police arrested him on a warrant charged with threatening the second degree, threatening in the second degree and breach of peace in the second degree. Um... Uh, on J November 29th, Jump's defense counsel told the judge and state's attorney, attorney he received a screenshot from Jump, appearing to be a positive COVID-19 test notification. The judge excused Jump from appearing the following day. According to the state's Division of Criminal Justice, investigation revealed the notification was forged and allegedly fabricated by Jump to avoid having to appear before the judge in court. Pull that off. That's clever. But all you're doing is kicking the can down the road. It's not really, like yeah. they're going to not. It's not like you're not going to just get another court date. Yeah. So unless you're using that time to leave town. Yeah. Also, how did he get caught? They checked. Oh, OK. 
Okay. <laughs> they, so they, they so looked was it at like it. an at-home test he faked. Um, guys, do we have a Dr. IP Freely in town? I, I haven't heard of him before. <laughs> well, because here in Colorado, they mailed out home tests for free to every Colorado resident, which is awesome. Because you live in civilization. <laughs> Right. Love that our governor did that. Every every person got two at home COVID tests. So you like, know what I got? when I had a head cold, I've gotten just to be all. sure. When I had a head cold, just to be sure, I was able to take one at home yeah. and know that I was okay and didn't have to stay away from my husband, you know. So I forget that they didn't do that everywhere. I'm I'm pretty much fucked. Yay. So I just, what was the plan? You're going to have to go to court. Why would you try to put this off? Did, did I, mean, I can see why you try to put it off. Really? But I mean, I wouldn't want to do it. Go to court. But you got to have a plan for after that. Like, yeah. I don't, I, otherwise, you're just delaying the inevitable. Right. I mean, it's like, what were you going to do next time? Be like, oh, no, I'm sorry. He died. Yeah, he can't come. No, we had that guy try that a few weeks ago. It didn't work. You need you need phase two. Yeah. I just <laughs> points. I mean, points for originality. It's the first time I've heard about this one. I mean, that's using a shitty situation to your advantage. And he wasn't trying to. He was. And no one else was put in, at harm's at risk because of it. So you know, okay. <laughs> The dumb Still. part is, though, people are so paranoid about it now. You didn't have to fake the test. No. You could have just said, I'm showing symptoms. I don't think I should come to court. And right? that probably would have worked. Yeah. Go get, they should be like, okay, you should go get tested. Come back to it. Right. Yeah, that would have been fine. But you probably could have kicked the can down the road just by telling your lawyer, gosh, I have a fever and a cough. I don't think yeah. I should come to court. Oh. Uh, you did too much. 2021, going on to our next one. 2021 was the year of the flying asshole. Like, we'd already ha always had in air travel some asshole. But 2021 was their era. They, they, they rose. And if trying you to figure out where that phrase was going, I was like, what stories have we done this year? <laughs> And if you thought, I'm picturing a dude with like a jetpack up his butthole. I wonder what's inside your butthole. I missed that. That'll um, be next week. Yeah. Um, if we thought that trend was receding. Oh, no. No. A Delta passenger punched an officer after being denied boarding because staff said he was too drunk. Delta Airlines passenger assaulted a police officer after he was stopped from boarding a flight from L.A. to New York. The now, what did we just say about bears? Mm -hmm. You don't get to punch the bear. The passenger has not been named, was stopped from boarding at LAX. He wasn't allowed to board because the Delta staff felt he was, quote, too intoxicated to fly. Delta spokesperson uh, said police were called to escort the passenger out of the terminal after he became verbally abusive at the departure gate. After officers arrived, the passenger had a, quote, moment of rage and assaulted an officer by punching him in the chest. Footage of the incident shows the officer tackling him to the ground. This is beautiful. While pinned, he could be heard saying, quote, you ruined my whole fucking day, bro. Now I have to travel a whole other day. It fucking sucks, dude. I think upon further reflection, you will find you ruined your own day, bro. Day, week, um, bank account, because you're going to need bail. Do you have a lawyer? Because one will be appointed to you, and that lawyer will suck. And you're going to be going back to L.A. Yeah. Um, the video shows the passenger screaming and struggling on the ground before being handcuffed and escorted out of the airport in a wheelchair. They weren't going to carry your ass. 
He was arrested <laughs> for battery on a police officer. Yeah, that's the one thing they don't they don't play. If you lay hands on an officer, all bets are off. That that one that true everywhere, but I feel like it's triple true at an airport. Yeah. We've said this before. They don't put up with shit at the airport yeah, because we are terrified. Like if we weren't before, if we if we weren't dealing with this horrible shit before, now doubly so. Yeah. We're just call the fucking cop, bro. Good day, bro. <laughs> That's a certain kind of person. You have you have a picture of him in your mind. He's got a polo shirt, boat shoes, boat shoes. Probably has some sort of of uh, trucker cap. I was thinking a visor, maybe a visor. Yeah, aviator has definitely sunglasses. Definitely roofied a girl. Aviator sunglasses, mm -hmm. although they're not they're not, they're the cheap ones you get off TV at like two in the morning. That are like the 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 tactical aviators. He's got those yeah. um, khakis for some fucking reason. Um, very has tight hair, buzz cut. Drug kind of. a girl's drink. Hmm? Yeah, has absolutely tried to drug a girl's drink. Yeah. at some point in his life. Yeah, that dude, bro, bro, you just you ruined my day, bro. You punched a cop. You're lucky to not have been hurt. I mean, and they can, they can tell you you can't fly because you're too drunk. Like everybody likes to wait yes. at the bar and get it fucking lit, waiting for their plane. Mm -hmm. You get too lit, they can. They don't have to put up with you. No, they they do not have to. They, you're at no, they don't. They, they, or it, your belligerence or your vomit. We keep saying this: flying is the last true dictatorship in America. They can say anything. Go well, you know, um, you mentioned vomit. Speak, speaking of our next story, because we've got a little bit of an escalation. Um, holy shit. Well, yeah, quite, quite, li quite literally. Yeah. Um, the sound of that. Drug soldier arrested after pooping pants. at National Airport while transporting nine assault rifles 22 year old air assault graduate donovan paywa was booked into metro nashville jail saturday afternoon after being refused service at cafe vino inside the nashville airport due to him having defecated on himself the soldier was transporting nine assault rifles aboard the aircraft and consumed three mixed drinks while inside the terminal. As staff noted he had feces inside his jeans, they alerted airport police, who arrived to find staff having to prop the soldier up as he could no longer stand on his own without assistance. Officers advised Paywa he could call someone to come get him, go to the hospital and sober up, or be arrested for public intoxication. He repeatedly declined any assistance and started screaming, fuck you, across the terminal. He was informed he was under arrest and refused to comply with the process, eventually having to be taken down by airport police as uh, by force as a passenger who happened to be an MP. So now, now there's the military police involved, attempted to calm him, who then told the arresting officers, quote, your family is dead. Now, as I understand it, yeah, military doesn't really fuck around with this stuff. No, because um, true story, Dan, when he joined the army, wanted to be an MP, but there's a height requirement, and he was a little too short to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why did you have to make that that funny? I said, God damn it. That's what that's what I say to him when he brings it up. <laughs> He's a little short for a stormtrooper. Um, so they wound up letting him play with nukes instead. But yeah, they don't really. It also I, like, was he just transporting the assault rifles for himself or for the military? Because if this was like a mission. Yeah, it was for the military. It gets oh, it gets better. 
it gets you're better. like super deluxe fucked he documented it on fucking instagram oh. gotta love transporting nine assault rifles smiley emoji in the end i hate all of it booze um Sir, you pooped your pants. <laughs> uh, and three mixed drinks make you poop your pants? Really? Come on. He wanted more. Yeah, he wanted more. He, I, I guess he still they, had, uh, constipated. Or you didn't immediately run to the men's room to no. deal with that situation. You ordered another drink. Covered in poop. in an airport which is already a terrible place while you were technically on duty like people are like oh there are certain places that are haunted you get bad psychic vibes no no the worst psychic vibes on earth if there are such a thing are within an airport no one wants to be there everyone intends to get out of there as quickly as possible most of yeah. the times you're not enabled to do so. It's like purgatory. It's it's the fucking worst. And imagine yeah. and you're 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 like, oh hey, there's a bar. I'm gonna go get a drink to help make this a little bit better. What's that smell? <clears throat> Computer owner. He got shit face and shit pants. Yes. But, okay, yeah, I love how the MP was even there like, dude, come on, come on, They're trying to help him. And the next thing he said was, your family is dead. Well, because that's a career ender in the military. Oh, yeah. Welcome to dishonorable discharge. I mean, among the other discharges you've had that evening. And like, I don't know if everybody knows this. I only learned this when I married Dan. If you get a dishonorable discharge, yeah. you don't get to own a gun. No, you don't get to vote anymore. Like, it's basically like being a felon. Yeah. Because you you, it, you signed a contract with the United States government and you violated it. Yeah. And there are penalties for that. Yeah. It's harder to get a job if you have that on your record. Sonic Ava saying the fact the U.S. military transports weapons on commercial airliners. Imagine if they lost his fucking bag. It doesn't say if it was commercial or not. That's the thing, because the airports do. Well, no, they do, because I don't know if any of you guys, there's a, there's a veteran on Twitter and TikTok named Patrick Lawler uh -huh. and tells a lot of stories about this. And like one of the stories they tell is that they had to go through, he, he was a medic in, Af in Afghanistan and going through airport security with your fucking rifle. Because they're not supposed to let it out of their sight, so they fucking carry it. Well, apparently these were were not carry on. There's like, or maybe yeah. they nine rifles in in cases too. Yeah, those probably went cargo, but yeah, they do. They they send them all commercial. Yeah, it's, it's and armed. <clears throat> like, damn, you you're like, damn, what the, what in the living fuck? What happened? Three drinks is all it took. Like, I'm a lightweight. <laughs> but I'm not. You're not a three drink pooper. And telling right. the cops I'm going to kill their family after three drinks. Three drink pooper. Yeah. So uh, I, I guess the, the first thing we learned this week is um, maybe if you're having to transport military grade weapons across the country, stick with the club soda. Because then you might not need to change it. Fucking, I, I have never, I, I, I am quite proud of this. I have been stupid ass drunk many times in my life. I have never pooped myself. No. Is that a thing that happens to people? Loss of bladder control, loss of, loss of all that. Yeah. I haven't peed myself either. I'm proud of that one too. Call of Duty. Oh. Like Oh, oh, like, was your plan to sit on the plane in your own shit? 
Yeah, that's not happening. That's that's never that's not happening. Um, we've learned that cops are much like bears. Don't punch them. Don't punch them. Um, don't steal their stuff. <laughs> we've learned that maybe the next time you're trying to fake getting sick to get out of a court date, maybe don't you know forge a doctor's signature. That's that's kind of. Yeah. You think you're putting Certainly on the... You don't have to. Right. Work smarter, not harder. You think you're putting All on... All you gotta do is say you got a cough, and they're gonna be like, get the fuck away from me. You think you're putting on that nice little flourish when, in fact, you're just... You're, you're making it... Yeah, two steps too far. Don't um, overthink it. We've learned that if you're going to try to impersonate a police officer, maybe don't do it in a cop's home when the other cops come to that home. Maybe don't have radio to play. Yeah. From his home. Yeah. Um, we've learned that Alexa will try to murder you. Smash your Alexa right now. And finally, we've learned tonight, if you want to get your brand recognition up, um, suggest eating ass. <laughs> Am I wrong? Um, apparently not. I think, however, that does call for a rim shot. 